Hello and welcome. I'm JV with the Cyber and You team, and today we're going to go over how to set a static IP address both in the GUI and then also through PowerShell itself. As Microsoft moves more towards PowerShell, it's good to be familiar with the PowerShell commandlets. Um, and the reason why we would even want to know how to do a static IP is, for instance, on our servers, we would like to have them be static IPs simply because our domain controller generally should not change its IP because a lot of things are pointed towards that. And then for clients themselves, um, if you don't have DHCP enabled on your domain, it's, it's good to know how to actually set an IP so you can communicate with your domain properly and connect to it um, correctly. So let's go ahead and get started with the GUI portion. Um, we're going to go to the bottom right here with the little um, monitor icon right click on it do open network and internet settings go to change adapter options and then select the network interface that is available to you in this instance ethernet 0 is the only one available to me that i would like to use to connect to my network so i'm going to right click on that click properties select ipv4 and then click properties again and then click on the radio button for use the following IP address and then specify the IP address itself which for this is going to be 192.168.0.3 and then the subnet mask we're going to keep as a 255.255.255.0 or slash 24 is what it's also known as um, the subnet mask generally will be this um, in a couple of networks, depending on if you want to have less clients be able to use a certain IP address range, you'll change it. But that's more for your network, guys. Um, so we're going to go to the default gateway, which will be most likely the switch that you're connecting to, um, which in this instance I'm going to keep as 192.168.0.1. And for the DNSs, if you have a DNS or domain naming service server, you can implement that IP address here now. Um, since we do not have that right now, we're just going to hit OK. And that is how you change your IP address through the GUI itself. So let's go ahead and do that through PowerShell now as well, closing down all of these items. Um, and go to the bottom left here, go to powershell.ise. I prefer ISE simply because it gives you your commandlets on the right side and helps you run through it a lot smoother. Um, since we're going to be doing some changes to the system, you're going to want to right click on it and run as administrator. If you do not run as administrator, you might get an access denied if you attempt to do this. Um, so for this, we're going to do yes because I want to run the PowerShell ISE. And now that we have it open up, we're going to go ahead and do a get net IP interface. So this will give us all of our network interface or NICs um, aliases, the IP address is involved with it. Is it connected? Is it not connected? Enabled, disabled. Um, and as you can see, the Ethernet 0 is the one that we're concerned with. Um, not the IPv6 specifically, but the IPv4. And then in the next step is where we're going to use the interface alias that we see right here when we actually create our new IP address. So let's go ahead and do that. It's a new dash net IP address and then interface alias which is, as you can see above, Ethernet 0. And then it'll be IP address. This is where we specify the actual IP address we want to change it to. Since we had it at .03, I believe, we're going to change it to .05. And then the prefix length, we're going to change to 24. This will give us the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and then we're going to change the default gateway as well and or specify what it is um, so for this we're just going to keep it at and just change it to 2 just for testing purposes so 
if I clicked everything, it should say it. Um, now this gives you a little input telling you what the changes are that you took. Um, so for instance, now you see IP address is .05, it was .03 earlier. Okay, today we went over first how to add an IP address through the GUI, and then we went through how to add an IP address through PowerShell itself. And as I like said earlier, um, it's very important to learn the PowerShell portion just because Windows or Microsoft appears to be going towards that with their nano servers and now their core servers as well. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again.